Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Friday, the 7th of June. Mario Draghi, the European Central Bank president, managed to talk up the euro yesterday by pointing to growth by the end of the year and confirming that the central bank wouldn't push for further policies. He insisted that the job now to promote growth lies in the national governments. The euro climbed to 132.50 from yesterday's 130. The US dollar currently at 96.85 against the Japanese yen has dropped as low as 95.50. The move comes after US unemployment claims came out slightly worse than expected, indicating that today's non-fund payrolls may not prove strong enough. While the Fed is looking to curb quantitative easing when unemployment drops to 6.5%, the Japanese government have signalled they won't interfere to weaken the yen. Looking at equities, the US 500 tracking the largest US corporations gains yesterday after a series of consecutive losses. Equities are propped up in the short term by expectations of further quantitative easing as money finds its way to fund capital markets. Looking at commodities, gold broke its pennant formation, touching 1423 before correcting to 1413 in early trading amid dollar weakness. WTI crude oil, the US energy benchmark, has continued its bullish trend, touching 9505. The energy is currently trending at 9488, looking for further dollar weakness. Now, let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot point at 131.40, with a preference to enter into long positions at 131.40. The dollar yen pivot point at 98.05, with a preference to enter into short positions at 98.05. The Aussie dollar pivot point at 0.96, with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.96. The sterling dollar pivot point at 155.15, with a preference to enter into long positions at 155.15. And the dollar cap pivot point at 103.05, with a preference to enter into short positions at 103.05. Now looking at commodities and indices. The oil pivot points at 94 with a preference to enter into long positions at 94. The gold pivot points at 1390 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1390. The silver pivot points at 2215 with a preference to enter into long positions at 2295. The US 500 is at 1597 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1597. And the UK 100 is at 6390 with a preference to enter in short positions at 6390. <laughs> And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And watch out for these market movers. At 10 GMT in Europe, we have the German Industrial Production month-on-month -month expected at 0%. At 12.30 GMT in Canada, we have the Canadian Unemployment Rate expected at 7.2%. And at 12.30 GMT in the US, we have the non-farm employment change forecast to rise by 165,000. And our mover in the shaker to end the week is the US dollar looking to lower lows against the Canadian dollar. The pair moved as low as 102.03 yesterday before somewhat correcting to 102.66. Look for the unemployment differential this afternoon between the US and Canadian for the next pair's move. Thank you for tuning in to our daily outlook. We look forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Emma Andre from Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great weekend. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.